Hello everyone, welcome to Maxim Automation. If you have seen my previous video where I have talked about Shadow DOM and how to handle or locate the elements under Shadow DOM using Selenium method. I received messages from you guys to create a video on how to locate elements under Shadow DOM using JavaScript. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss how to locate Shadow DOM elements by running JavaScript using a JavaScript executor. So let's get started. First of all, let's talk about DOM or document object model. So if anyone who has not watched my previous video can have the idea what is DOM and Shadow DOM. DOM is a tree structure of connected nodes where nodes represents the different elements in the HTML document. These elements and styles available in a HTML document are globally scoped. So any element in the HTML document, irrespective of the element location in the document tree, can access all the available styles. Now, if you want to keep the markup structure or style separate or hidden from other code on the page, so that the other element cannot access the style from other parts of the codes and can use its own implementation within its document. So to implement this, the shadow DOM can be used, which is used to hide a part of the document tree from other parts of the code. Let's say this is our document tree, where these nodes are the different elements available in the document. Now using shadow DOM, we can attach hidden DOM trees in the original DOM structure. So here, this is our original DOM tree. And all the styles and elements available at any location can be accessed in this document. Now, if you want to hide a part of code from the original tree, then we can add the part of the code using the shadow DOM. The other part of the code will also be a DOM tree, which starts with a shadow root. And under that root, any element can be attached. So the root of the shadow DOM is called as shadow root. And here this element can contains other elements as we have in a regular DOM tree. And this DOM tree is called as shadow tree. And this shadow tree or shadow DOM is attached with one of the elements or nodes in the original document tree. So here this node which contains a shadow DOM called as shadow host. Now using this shadow DOM, the code inside this tree cannot be affected from anything outside it, which basically allows to implement the concept of encapsulation. So this is about the shadow DOM element. Now we know why the shadow DOMs are being used. But the question is how to identify the elements using Selenium which are under the shadow DOM tree. So let's see how we can work with Selenium to identify these shadow DOM elements. Here, I have a Chrome setting page, which basically contains multiple shadow trees. And these elements, which we can see here, are part of the shadow DOM. And we cannot directly access these elements with Selenium by using the XPath or other locators. Let me first open the dev tool to see if we can inspect these elements. You can see these elements which I inspected. And here we can see that these elements exist under a shadow DOM. Because here we can see that shadow root mentioned, which means this is the root node of a shadow tree. And this element is called a shadow host because the shadow DOM is attached with this node. Now let me create XPath to identify this element. And we'll get to know whether we can directly access this element by using the XPath ID or any other locator. You can see that we don't have any item returned using this XPath. Though the XPath was correct, but because this element exists under a shadow DOM, 
so we cannot access this item directly by using the selenium locators to access these kind of elements first we need to get the shadow dom tree object and then using the shadow dom object we can access these elements inside that tree to traverse to the shadow dom we can either use javascript or can use the selenium get shadow root method to get the shadow dom object now here in this chrome setting page we have multiple nested shadow dom so we need to traverse to each shadow dom until we move to our target shadow dom this is almost similar like we work with iframes to identify an element inside an iframe where first we need to move to the iframe and then only we can access the element and in case of multiple iframes we have to keep switching to iframes until we reach the target iframe so to get the shadow dom and then to access the elements inside it i need to run the javascript and to run the javascript i can go to the console tab and then i can write my javascript here to execute it so to get the object from the dom i can use the javascript method document dot query selector this method takes a valid css selector string as an input and then return the element matched with the provided css selector string now let me move to the element tab to create the css string to find the desired element first i need to find this settings ui node which contains the first shadow dom and to find this element i can type the css string as body angular bracket and then the tag name of the element then to run this javascript statement i can press enter here you can see it returns the element which i was looking for and this element contains a shadow tree which we need to traverse to find the elements inside this shadow tree so to get the shadow tree object we can use the javascript method shadow root this will return the shadow dom tree and if i press enter then you can see here it returns the shadow tree and now we can traverse to the elements available under this tree now after this we need to find the other element which further contains the shadow dom so this chrome setting page is one of the good examples to do practice on shadow dom to locate the elements under the tree you might have only one or two shadow dom hierarchy in your application until you reach to your final element but here to reach our element we need to traverse to multiple levels of shadow dom now the next item which we need to find is this settings main node which contains another shadow dom so first i'll locate this element and then we'll move to the shadow dom under this shadow host to find the element i can again call the method query selector and then we'll provide the css string for the desired element i'm using the id value as main for the setting main node you can see it returns the settings main node here which contains a shadow tree and to get the shadow tree object we can use the method shadow root here you can see it returned the shadow tree object now let's find the next element in the tree to reach our desired element you can see we have this setting basic page node which contains another shadow dom so now we need to first find this element to get the shadow tree object under this element i'll again use the query selector method and then i'll pass the css string as setting basic page dot and the class name of the element and then we can use shadow root method to get the shadow tree object again let's move to the element tab and now 
under the shadow tree will look for another element which might contain another shadow dom so here we have this setting section node which we need to locate to move further let me move to the console and then i'll find the setting section element because we have multiple setting section elements here so i'm going to use the class attribute section name to locate this element here the attribute name is section and the value of the attribute is appearance you can see it returns the setting section element for the appearance section and to get the shadow tree object hosted under this element we can again use the shadow root method so here it returns the shadow tree object now the next item which we need to find is this setting appearance page and we can see that this element is not under a shadow tree we can directly access this element using the setting section element so here i can type the query selector again to find the element using css string and under this setting appearance page we have another shadow dom hosted so i'll use the shadow root method to get the object of the shadow tree now we have reached this location and then under this shadow tree we need to find another element which is this settings animated pages so let me find this element using the css string and then here we can see we have this element settings toggle button which further contains our desired element so the next element which we need to find is settings toggle button with the label attribute as show home button because we have multiple elements here with the settings toggle button so we have traversed to this location and now we'll move to the shadow dom hosted by this element using the shadow root method now we can see under this shadow tree we have our desired element which we are looking for this is element cr toggle with id as control and this is the element on which we want to perform the click operation so i'm going to create the css string by using the id as control for this element if i press enter then you can see it returns the desired element on which we want to perform the operation and when i mouse over here then it highlights the elements on ui so we have moved to our element by using the javascript css string and the shadow root method of javascript now the next thing is to execute this javascript from selenium to get the element so that we can perform the operations on the element let's move to the code now you can see here we have the code written to access the same element which is under our shadow dom here i have used the selenium method get shadow root which is available in selenium 4 which we have discussed in my previous video if you want you can watch my previous video to get more details now let's see how we can use the javascript to access the elements under the shadow tree here in this code i have used the driver manager to set up the driver for chrome browser and then i have created the chrome driver object using the chrome driver and then using the driver object we are navigating to the chrome setting page now to execute the javascript using selenium first we need to create the object of i javascript executor using the driver object 
here we need to typecast the driver object into the i javascript executor after that we are going to get our web element object by running the javascript and to run the javascript i am going to use the javascript executor object and then the execute script method which takes the javascript string as an input and we need to again typecast the return value of the execute script method into i web element after that i'll copy the javascript statement which we have created in the console so the same statement i'm going to execute using the selenium to get our desired element here i'll add the return keyword which will return the element found by running the provided javascript string and then i'll add the extra double quotes as an escape character so this is the javascript we have used in dev tools to locate our element and the same javascript string will return the element which will be typecast into the web element now let me run the test to see if we have used the correct statement you can see the execution is started and it should locate the element and should perform the click operation on it okay we can see that our test failed and if i see the failed reason in the logs then it says that we have used the invalid locator okay if you look over here so we have got the extra spaces in the node name this might be because we copied the string from the console so now let me remove these extra spaces from here and we have extra spaces here as well and if i see other elements then so other looks good and let me run the test again so the execution has started again and you can see now that this time it clicked on the element it means the javascript string which we have used is correct this is how we can use javascript executor to run javascript using selenium so that we can identify or locate an element which is under a shadow dom tree i hope you like this video please put your comments in the comment box also please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you